So, what does Shin mean? No, no, I'm not talking about the body part. I'm of course referring to what it means in the context of Ano and Higuchi's Shin Anthology series. Well, the word Shin in Japanese can actually mean a lot of different things and the reason kanji is important. Some of the more well-known meanings, for us toku westerners, are true and new. However, the Shin in the Shin Anthology series is written in katakana, which leaves the meaning of the word up to interpretation, usually as a stand-in for the multiple meanings of the word Shin. Chances are, by the time this video comes out, the fourth installment of the series, Shin Kamen Rider, will be playing in Japanese theaters. And yes, in case you didn't know, Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0 Thrace Upon a Time is considered to be Shin Evangelion. I mean, at this point you might as well call the entire rebuild saga Shin Evangelion. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, this is a Kamen Rider video. While everyone else, including me, are stuck waiting for who knows how long when to see it, I figured it would be fun to look at the history of Kamen Rider and which entries do or potentially could fit the definition of Shin Kamen Rider. So you're probably wondering, what on earth does a Shin Kamen Rider even mean? To answer that, I'm going to be separating it into different categories based on what I believe the movie Shin Kamen Rider is attempting to do, given what we've seen already come from the Shin universe. The first one is pretty obvious, which is whether or not Shin is in the title. The second is that it's trying to be a new take or reboot of the original. The third is if it's trying to stay true to the spirit of the original. In other words, it has too many differences to be considered a reboot, but it still aims to be at least similar enough to the original. Finally, I'll have two categories where either it's debatable or I don't believe it to fit the definition of Shen Kamen Rider. Before we get right to it, I have some quick disclaimers. While I have seen most of the titles we'll be directly talking about, I haven't seen them all, so I will make a note of which ones I have and have not seen. Also, I still haven't seen the vast majority of writer media, so it's possible that I'm missing some. And this is just a fun video going over some of the history of the writer franchise, so no need to take it too seriously. Oh, and this video may contain spoilers for various Kamen Rider entries. With that out of the way, let's hench into the video! So, the title of Shin Kamen Rider actually has its roots dating back very early into the franchise. If you watched my V3 video from last month, you might remember me alluding to this. Many names were considered for the show such as Ultra Rider, Rider Ace, and one that I might be talking more about in an upcoming video. As you may have guessed, the title I'm referring to was Shin Kamen Rider, specifically New Kamen Rider. It's crazy that using the word Shin was being considered as early as the second series of the franchise. However, as we all know, it's called Kamen Rider V3, and it's a direct sequel to the original, so in my opinion, V3 does not count as a Shin Rider. However, we don't have to go too far for our next potential candidate, that being Sky Rider from 1979's Kamen Rider. Now, I've only seen one episode of Sky Rider, but I think it's safe to say Sky Rider can be considered a Shin Rider. First of all, it's worth mentioning that according to the writer wiki, the 79 show was often referred to as Kamen Rider Shin or New Kamen Rider. So already we can check off that by name part in the definition. There's more to it though than just the name of the show. You see, Sky Rider was supposed to be a reboot of the original. Even for someone like me who hasn't really watched Sky Rider, that intention is made clear not only from the hero's design harking back to the original, but also the evil organization being called Neo Shocker. We can check off the new take part of our Shin Rider definition. Now, is there any other writers from the show era that could be a Shin Rider? 
we'll get to you in the next chapter. To me, there's one writer we need to talk about before we get to the 90s. Oh, here he is now. The one and only. On the surface, Black doesn't fit the Shin Rider definition any more than, say, most other Rider entries in the show era. However, I think Black is a strong candidate for the In Spirit category. According to a historical essay written by Mike Dent of Vintage Engine, which you can find on the excellent discotheque release of the series, Black's inception started when Kamen Rider creator Shitaro Ishinomori pitched to Toei a Back to Basics for Kamen Rider, but with more emphasis on the horror and character drama. Now, there was quite a bit from the original pitch that didn't make it into Black, but some of it would return for a future installment. I said we'll get to you in a bit. Go wait your turn. Anyways, like I said, not everything from the pitch made it in, but there was still plenty that did. For starters, Shocker was pitched to be once again the villain organization, except is more like a cult than an outright terrorist organization. Even though the villain wasn't called Shocker, instead Gorgum, the cult aspect was still kept intact. Besides that, there's a lot of parallels one can make to Black and the original. For example, both leads were kidnapped and turned to a cyborg by the villain organization. Okay, I know that's a basic example that could be applied to a number of show writers, but there's more. Black has a lot of callbacks to the original, like introducing their own version of Taki in a couple of episodes and a new take on the writer scouts. If you need more examples, then honestly, I recommend watching the show for yourself because honestly, I need to move this video along. So while Black is different enough where you can't really call it a reboot, I do believe there's enough of the original in Black where I believe Black is a Shin Rider in spirit. Before we move on, I have to address the Black RX in the room. While I have yet to watch RX, waiting for that discotheque release, I can't just mention Black without talking about RX. Now, since I said Black was a Shin Rider in spirit, does that apply to RX? Personally, as someone looking in from the outside, I have to say no. RX is a sequel series that is doing its own thing and introduced concepts that the Rider franchise hasn't seen before, such as a Rider driving a car. So far, we have two that I consider to be Shin Riders and two that I don't. Now, on to the 90s. Yes, we're finally going to talk about you. Just behave yourself when we go over... Oh, co come on, man! Really? Ah. When discussing about potential Shin Riders, we have to talk about Kamen Rider Shin. Shin came out in the 1992 movie Shin Kamen Rider Prologue. Man, that's going to be confusing for Western newcomers coming in after Anno Shin Kamen Rider. The movie was to celebrate the series' 20th anniversary, even though it came out a year after that. Moving on. So, obviously we can check off the by name part of our Shin Rider definition. Oh, and by the way, uh, Shin in this case means true, as identified in the kanji. Can we check off anything else? Well, yes we can, as this was the movie that used the previously dropped horror aspects from Black's initial pitch. So, in a way, this can serve as a new take on the original. But would it be as a reboot? or in spirit. I think that can be debated, but for me personally, I would only go as far as in spirit as the movie just goes one mutant baby too far to be a reboot. You may think that's it from the 90s, but we can't leave just yet as I believe there's a case to be made for Zeto. Zeto is from the 1993 movie Kamen Rider Zeto, which was also to celebrate the series 20th anniversary. Okay, Toei, look, you can't have two 20th anniversary movies and have neither of them come out on the franchise's actual 20th anniversary. It just doesn't work like that. Besides the label, 
Zeta was yet another back to basics rider affair and feels reminiscent of the first arc of the original series. It's a fun watch even with the surprisingly low video quality on Toei's official YouTube channel. Like, I can find a different video on YouTube with better quality footage. Just why Toei? Why? With my complaint of the video quality aside, I think for what Zeto sets out to do, I'm willing to label Zeto as a Shin Rider in spirit. It would feel weird to talk about Shin and Zeto without mentioning Jay. Jay came out in the 1994 movie, Kamen Rider Jay, which was not a 20th anniversary movie like the last two. I'm sorry Jay. Now, I think most would consider Jay not a Shin Rider, especially since he's the only rider to officially go giant size, as far as I'm aware. I'll admit, there's not that much about Jay that would fit with our Shin Rider definition, but I do think there's some things worth noting. Example is Jay also tries to capture a certain part of the original. This time, it's the feeling of watching an episode of Kamen Rider with aspects like having an opening narration. It also has a lighter tone compared to the other two. Honestly, it makes it all feel like Jay is the Nigo to Zeto's Ichigo. Oh, and one more thing, it does actually try to capture the environmental message the original set out to do, because it is very much environmentally coded, <laughs> and Jay is. Uh, this part was not written in the nice script, I'm just kind of ad-libbing it here. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> However, since that is really based on my feeling and being so different to the previous two, I'll put Jay in the debatable category. Now we got the 90s out of the way, it's time to take a look at the next era of Ryder. Something we need to take note about the Heisei era is that there was a lot of redefining of what a common writer even is, so we're going to have a lot of writers who will not fit within our definition of Shin Rider. With that said, I think there's a couple of entries worth discussing. First is the one that kicked off the Heisei era. Kuga is from the 2000 series Kamen Rider Kuga. Out of the few series I've watched so far, this is one of my favorites. Kuga is considered to be the closest to the Showa era than other Heisei era entries, and like I mentioned, is the first of the Heisei era. But is that enough to be considered a Shin Rider? Well, while there's a bit of similarities between Kuga and Showa, especially with the cast of characters, I personally feel that Kuga does a lot of things differently that makes it not count as a Shin Rider. However, I can see an argument being made for Kuga being a Shin Rider, so I will leave Kuga in the debatable category. Up next is a first, as we talk about 2005's The First and 2007's The Next. I'm sorry. I just had to do that. And don't worry, Arudo, we'll get to you later. But for real, the first and the next are a first as they are direct reboots of the original and V3. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to treat them as one entry just to make things more simple on my end. With the two movies being reboots, that makes them definitely fit our definition of Shin Rider. I will say, in terms of the first, it will be interesting to compare that to Anno's Shin Kamen Rider, as both are reboots of the original. Something worth noting about the first though, is that the movie adapts more from Ishinomori's original manga, while Shin Kamen Rider, from what we've seen from promotional material, seems to take more inspiration from the 1971 show. Before we leave the Heisei era, there's one more writer worth discussing. Double is from the 2009 series Kamen Rider Double, and is considered the first entry in the second phase of the Heisei era. Now, I have yet to see Kamen Rider Double, but I have seen the sequel anime, Fudo P.I., so I at least have a general understanding of the show. Now, why did I watch the sequel series without watching the first? Well, at the time of making this, 
one was legally available while the other one isn't. Toei, here's hoping we get more Rider series soon, especially Double, I can't wait to watch that one. Anyways, the reason we have to bring up Double is that there are actually a, quite a few callbacks to the original and Ishinomori himself. One example being Double's Cyclone Joker form, also his base form, returns to the green and black grasshopper motif. Is that really enough for Double to be a Shin Rider? From my perspective, I have to say no. But because I have yet to actually watch Double, I will give the benefit of the doubt and put the series in the debatable category. I think that sums up all the potential candidates from the Heisei era, so I think it's time we get to the modern era. What better railroad rider to talk about than Zero One is from the 2019 series Common Rider Zero One. Now, this being the first of the Reira era and harking back to the design of the original, you would think that Zero One would be a prime candidate for being a Shin Rider, right? You're telling me we have a reference to Ichigo's original suit, a callback to Nigo with Zero Two, and a new double rider kick all entirely localized within one entry. Yes. Does that mean it's a Shin Rider? No. Look, on the surface it does. I mean, it's literally called Zero One. But after recently watching the series, it's pretty clear that Zero One was focused on doing its own thing rather than going back to formula. Despite that, I think Zero One is the better for it and is a great entry point for new fans. But that does mean Zero One doesn't count as a Shin Rider. Reiwa era is still pretty young, but it doesn't look like we're going to get a Shin Rider when it comes to the main entries anytime soon. But what about series that aren't part of the main line? No. Obviously, I have to address Black Sun after I said Black does fit with the definition of Shin Rider. So, why do I not think the reboot of Black doesn't fit? I mean, yeah, it's a reboot of Black specifically, not a reboot of the original. It tells its story of Black in its own way and adds a lot of new ideas to where I don't see the original, like the original 1971 series in it anywhere. But I think it's still a good series anyways, the, but just not a Shin Rider. That leaves us with the movie that's the entire reason this video exists. 2023's Shin Kamen Rider. Obviously I haven't seen it and don't know when I'll be able to, but I mean, it clearly matches our Shin definition just from the teaser alone. And with all that, I only have to ask one more question. So we've gone through the eras and made this lovely chart about what is considered to be a Shin Rider. So what does it all mean? Absolutely nothing. I mean, really, it doesn't matter who and who isn't a Shin Rider. Obviously, I'm not the authority of what is a Shin Rider, I'm just a toku-loving nerd on the internet. Heck, I haven't even seen all the series we've talked about in this video. I will say, technically all Kamen Riders in some respect can be a Shin Rider, if we go into the literal definitions of new and true in regards to Shin. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of disagreement about the chart I made, but that's absolutely okay. The reason why I wanted to make this video be was because I found it interesting to look back at the history of the Rider franchise when it comes to the use of Shin and reboots, as well as callbacks to the original. I don't know if I'll do one for Ultraman, but we'll see. Besides, I needed to make a new video for Shin Kamen Rider's release. Alright everybody, that's, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, yeah, this is just a fun video of uh, no writer reviews or ultra reviews this month. But I do have an ultra review planned for next month. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, that's about it. I don't got any announcements that I can make right now. Other than I am going to be at All Monsters Attack 2 
in Chicago. That is the first weekend of May. I will probably have a teaser video made out for next month. Um, and I have some stuff that I'm waiting to share. Uh, but yeah, other than that, um, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on all my socials. There I will post, you know, my weekly web comics as well as, uh, I don't know why I started there. <laughs> I had like this brain fart. Anyway, yeah, weekly web comics. Um, and I'm obviously posting those onto the community tab. But follow me on socials like Instagram, Twitter, links in the description below. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Toku related content. And also, it would do, it would make, like, I would really appreciate it. My goal is for 1K by the end of the year. We're over 300, so we got this. And by the way, also, thank you to the 300 people, the over 300 people, for subscribing to my channel. Uh, yeah, and like the video if you love Kamen Rider or are excited to watch Shin Kamen Rider. Uh, dislike the video if you just hate Tokusatsu. I don't know why you're watching it. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. And with that all, the, with that out, <clears throat> blah. I can't say the last part now. <laughs> uh, with that all out of the way, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care and shoo-watch!